Okay, there are a few mods I want to try out today, and I don't know much about any of them, but I've got a bunch of them installed, so let's get cracking. I know there is a new companion for us waiting for us in Prim. I'm pretty sure that Zach would not be interested in recruiting this companion, so I figured, hey, why not do it on stream, see what this character is all about. I tried to install her a few years ago, as I recall, but the file did not allow the game to work. So, yeah, I, I remember I installed that file and then I couldn't figure out why my game was constantly crashing. It's because she was a Fallout 3 companion that had been ported into New Vegas, but because it was still trying to find the Fallout 3 files and it couldn't find them, it kept crashing the game. So I just kind of moved on. But it looks like it was ported over properly now. So, yeah, let's go to Prim and grab a new companion. Hello, Delilah. Are you I don't think you're following me. Nah, it's just Hope. So it's currently it's gonna it's gonna be me and Hope and all y'all and the companion we recruit over in Prim. Okay, where's our modded companion? Somewhere around here. Is it you? Those fiend junkies over at Ball Three been taking some hits. I say kill them all. Maybe it's you. What's up? Pepper, that's the one. Uh, uh, so are you a prostitute or something? Dressed in the way you are? What? What are you talking? Oh, you mean the outfit. <laughs> well, that's a long story. Is it? I, you just found it in the garbage someday and decided to put it on so you wouldn't be naked. Or is it more elaborate than that? All right, here goes. Well, I guess I'd better introduce myself. My name's Pepper. Pepper Harvey. A oh, pleasure to meet you. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a gambler. Hell, let's not kid anyone here. I'm a hardcore double or quits, bet your clothes away kind of gambler. Ah, that explains a lot. Which is sort of what happened, to be honest. And you are left with nothing but a sexy nighty. Go on. Okay, so let me clear one thing up. I'm not a prostitute. I'm not offended. I mean, if I get mistaken for one, I guess I must look pretty alluring, right? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. Well, basically, I spent days in New Vegas. Hopping around from one casino to another, literally throwing caps around like some kind of idiot. Yes? I ended up losing the whole damn lot. I even gambled away my clothes, my gun, and my dignity, goddammit. Yes, you did! Well, I, I didn't know about the dignity. I'm sorry. You so, you don't have any dignity left, you say? No, no. That sounded pretty bad. What, what's, uh, what's going on now? You got any plans for uh, the future? Gonna put on some clothes? Uh-huh, sure was. Well, I got thrown out of the casinos. No caps, they said, no entry. So, since I'm standing there in the cold, freezing my ass off, I snuck into a nearby brothel, claimed to be a prostitute, grabbed the nearest outfit I could find from one of the dressers, and got the hell out of Vegas. So you aren't... Ended up hitching a ride on some guy's motorbike all the way to Prim. So now, here I am. Mooching around this place like a sad loser. Well, okay, so sorry for asking this. <laughs> yeah, I made the duck be. Mike, excuse me. <laughs> what was that just now? It's just me talking to Pepper here. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you guys, you guys act like you've never seen somebody do this before. <laughs> so... Uh, so sorry for ask this, but would you like to join? We travel together, maybe. Oh, hey, I'm gonna be needing my gun, though. Do you think we could go back to Vegas and get it back? Oh, yeah. I think I think I can help you find your gun. Maybe clothes, but those are optional. Okay, so I'm hanging out at the Gamora Casino, and some shady-looking guy approaches me and says he's got a private poker game on the go and needs an extra player. I'm not going to decline that offer, so I went along, and before I knew it, it's just me and him, heads up. Going. Anyway, I pick up a full house on the flop, but I'm running low on caps, so I stick my gun on the table. Figured I had this in the bag. I had two fours, how could I fail? Of course the asshole calls me, and he's got four of a kind. Ah, uh, I think that beats it. I'm sat there cursing away, claiming he cheated as he grabs my gun and tells me to get the hell out of there. <laughs> Point your own gun at you. That's unfortunate. Contract! Murray and Benny, eh? Very well, very well. Who draws my duck? I be oh, I got a couple people drawing stuff for me. I believe the duck is uh, drawn by Sunspot. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure Sunspot's the one that uh, drew the duck uh, a year or two ago for a couple of video essays, and I just kind of repurposed them for streaming. So, that's where they came from. So, <laughs> yeah, Pepper here seems to have a crippling gambling addiction, and we will see if we can add her to our party. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Walkie-talkie. Lead the way, partner. All right. Well, welcome, welcome. And I can tell you've got a, a custom body model that's very impressive, although it's unfortunate I can see a bit of a neck seam. Maybe I'll find a necklace and I'll put it on you. Or, you know, maybe just more clothes in general. Maybe, or maybe less clothes. I don't know. We'll see. Get some eye candy going on. Okay, so what's your quest say? Mike, you are the only DuckTuber I know. Very few of us exist, Duck VTubers. Very rare. Find her gun and clothe her in New Vegas. Read the note she gave you. To Mr. Benny, I am make a contract. Okay, she's not the most literate. I make a contract for this for everything we win from gambling. We will give everything for you, Mr. Benny. We take everything in the top's presidential suite. And I want you help protect me from NCR in my cell jet in New Vegas. I hope we can do this business together forever. Contract by Murray. Oh, so it's not her handwriting. I, okay. So it's some oaf named Murray. Or Murray. To Benny, eh? I guess we're going to the... Excuse the you. The NCR took back Nelson. Maybe they can win this war after all. I guess we're going to the tops after all or so. I mean, I don't gamble because I, I know my limits. I got a, I got a luck scale of six. And you know, it's better than five, but uh, it'll take a while to break the bank is what I'm saying. So I don't, I don't gamble very often. But sure, let's go to the strip. When does the next analysis come? I don't know. It takes a long time to make, and they don't always pull a, a lot of attention. But uh, it, it just means I've been uh, doing a fair bit more streaming lately, and, and you know, there's, there's always plans for more analysis videos in the future. Thank you, White Duck. Pepper got stripped to the strip. Ah, uh, you know what? Else? I could probably also talk to her, see what she's got to say. Wait, where'd she go? There she is. Hey, how you feeling? Yeah. Oh, weird that the camera did not zoom in on you. It's very odd. I don't know why. But anyway, I guess I can't inquire about anything personal. Never mind. Very, very well. Goodbye. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, let's see. Oh, there's a sewer here. Can't go in that. Very well. Okay, so the Gamora is right here. We could uh, we just head right in, but I the waypoint is not telling me to go to the Gamora. Ah, yes, the tops. That's where Benny is. And you lost some stuff, and maybe it's at the, the tops. That makes sense. Ah, and there's that dead preacher man. Gonna ignore that. Without leadership, the fiends are... Hey, hey, fellow. Hello, chair. There you go, sneak. Oh, man, you might have taken my guns. What'd you leave me with? Anything useful? Nope, not really. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh, and your fluorescent lighting just kicked in. Hmm. I can't believe that Pep here doesn't have any... Opinions on the NCR and Legion. That's a astute observation, Grenadier. Come on, you've got to have an option. you got to have an opinion, Pepper. Opinions are like assholes, and I want to see yours. Your opinion. We no? are here at some big leaguer NCR rangers are coming to town to dance a two-step all over Caesar's head. That'll take some time, I think. That could happen for quite some time. So do we talk to... Uh, might need to talk to Benny over here. Benny's still alive. Might need to do that. Or... We sneak maybe... Sneak maybe into the... Presidential suite? Ah, we gotta go to Benny's. Looks like we're doing some of the main quest today. Seems like I'm being coerced to do that. Cool by me if you want to talk after all. But a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business? That don't play. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Uh, I dug myself out of that grave to plant you in yours, Benny! Cash me out of this mess. That's right. We're not doing any of that today. I am going to loot you, though. I'm going to try at least. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just open your pants pocket and take your, your keys and stuff. Okay. Don't mind me. I was just, just sneaking around here into your room. Yeah. Okay. So Benny's room right here. Benny's a fink, so, you know, whatever. Just make a mess. Uh, maybe the, uh, thing I'm looking for is around here. Ooh, Pugilism Illustrated, thank you. Maybe it's back here in one of his many rooms. His 
Yeah, it's weird that this, I guess there's like the meeting room right back here. How about this room? The bathroom? No. This room has a desk. Uh, Pepper's 9mm. Hey, this must be your custom gun. It's got a little uh, red star on it. Got it. And sport armor. That might be something you can wear. What's up? I didn't take Benny's gun. No, of course not. That would be mean. Here, take this. I imagine you leave Benny alive so that you can come back every <laughs> week or so and use terrifying presence on him just to assert authority. Absolutely. And from a metagame perspective, if I never kill him and take his gun, there's always the chance that um, I can go talk to Wolpes and uh, the NCR embassy person. See, the thing is, I'm still technically in Act 1 until I deal with Benny. As long as I leave Benny unharmed, I won't be shot on sight by the Legion, no matter how vilified I am. So all I have to do is never associate with Benny, and I'll be able to go anywhere in the Mojave I want. Oh yeah. Pepper, here, take this, your items. I hope you stops play gambling forever. Thanks so much for everything you've done for me. You're a good friend. I... Hey. I really appreciate you getting my gun back. You know what? You should keep it. Oh, okay. That's... Oh, uh, no. you got some nice armor. Oh, your, your sporty armor looks nice on you. Just uh, one shoulder pad, though? That's fair. That's fair. Are you sure you don't want your gun, though? The entire reason we came out here, you know? Yeah, my way of thanks. Just take good care of it for me. Okay. Well, I gotta say, I liked your previous outfit. You know, the sexy night gale. No, night, night, naughty nightwear, sexy sleepwear, whichever one it was, but this outfit looks pretty good too. It's a cross between the Vault Dweller and Laura Croft, I think. <laughs> all right, well, you can have your gun back. Sure, take all my stuff, why don't ya? No, I'm doing the op- oh wait. Oh, you have a second copy of it! I see. You, you, you used Benny's cloning machine to give me a copy of your firearm. Well, I can't say a 9mm is- my kind of weapon, but you know what? It's nice to have a weapon as I need it, especially since I took everything else from me. So, you know, if I want to go assassinate Benny now, it's a good opportunity. All right. So what we're going to do here is go back to the main floor. And if I ever want to deal with Benny, all I got to do is use Pepper's handgun, which I am going to leave Somewhere inconspicuous. Ah, back here. Nobody ever goes back here in this area of the tops. It's the perfect place for me to stash a secret firearm. Yes, right here. All right, so if I need to assassinate Benny, that's where the, the firearm is gonna be. Just gotta keep that in mind. So now can I inquire about you? I'm listening. I thought you were a pepper, ha 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 ha. No, nothing new to say? Unfortunate. Okay. Thank you for the gifted sub, Icons Game Room. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And welcome, Days Millie Doc. She can dual wield. I wish she could. I wish she could. That'd be pretty cool, all right. It's a nice outfit, though. She got her gun. She got a whole bunch of holsters and stuff. Not a lot of body armor or... Uh, protection on her right shoulder, but it's not bad. Will I forget that I put it there? I, I think the more likely option is I will uninstall the pepper mod and the gun will disappear. But, uh, you know, in case I do want to assassinate Benny in the near future, that is an option. Hey. I bet you if I put that on, it's just going to look like normal <laughs> male body armor. Fine, but please don't offload all your crap onto me. I can't take your sport armor away from you. It's not, I'm not allowed to take it. Oh, I can take your naughty decolleté though. I can't take out, Fine, uh, but please don't offload all your crap onto me. Can't take her sport armor away. I was gonna put it on and see if maybe it contoured to my body or if it just became some kind of generic male armor, but I guess I'll never know. Be aggressive. Got it, be aggressive. No wait, be passive. Got it, be passive. <laughs> Repeat what I say. Understood. Falling back. No, wait. Stay close. Whatever you say, boss. All right. Use melee. Can do. No, wait. Don't. Not a problem. Okay. 
And now we have exhausted all of Pepper's dialogue. Very well. <laughs> Baby, it's... Whatever you said, buddy. What was the inspiration behind the duck? There was no inspiration. It was just the image that I had at the time when I started doing the channel stuff. It's complete happenstance. She is well voiced, even if she doesn't have a whole lot to say, which is surprising. So, Pepper. Yeah? Is there anything you have to say? Or is that everything? I think that might have been everything, huh? Very well. Okay. We have now exhausted all of her. That was her entire quest, and we have exhausted all of her dialogue options. Well, so be it. Let's move on to the next quest. Unless there's another step here? No, there's nothing. Okay, well. There, let's go do a proper adventure quest then, why not? See if I can get myself the armor with a console. You got five bucks on it giving you the female body model. I think it's just gonna be a generic male body armor, but we can, we can give it a try. We can see if that happens. Search sport armo. If I can even put it on, there's no guarantee of that. Sport armor added. Yeah, like 90% sure. I can't even, can I wear it? I can wear it apparently. I bet you it's gonna be generic male armor. Yep. Want to make this a chat bet? <laughs> nah, it's all right. I kind of figured it was gonna be generic combat armor or something like that. Yeah. Not terribly surprising, although it does change if you are using the female character model. So if I wanted to wear this outfit, that's an option. Doesn't go very well with the jacket though. Clips through it and whatnot. It's all good. It looks better on her anyway. She doesn't have a whole lot to say or anything unique, so I'm gonna let her have that. How many years has it been since I'm a stranger? It feels like only a one or two, but I think it's closer to four or five. Yeah, so like four years of streaming. Crazy that. Time just keeps on flying. Whenever you read the channel name, you imagine it as a caveman going, Mike, burn fire. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Let's see, which of these adventure quests should we do? Well, there's one southwest of Nipton. Okay, we can go southwest of Nipton and go do that then. So, welcome to Nipton. There's fire everywhere. We hope you enjoy. And you probably don't have anything to say about any locations. You're kind of a generic companion, aren't you? You're, you're meat shield tier, aren't you? With a nice armor, nice outfit. Uh, maybe you've got some battle cries that are interesting. Maybe, possibly. But we're gonna move on. Not gonna focus on Pepper. We're gonna go do an adventure. Who killed this guy down here? Probably a scorpion. Probably a scorpion. Not who I was looking for, I don't think. Oh, you found somebody? We make a pretty good team. First message from you was 2018 on this channel, so you've been streaming for about six years. Six years, oh my goodness. I don't know what's more surprising, that I've been doing this for six years or that 2018 was six years ago. <laughs> Episode zero was seven years ago. Yeah, that was back in 2015, technically. Like the first version of those videos are back in 2015. Okay, so we're looking for a shack somewhere around here, southwest of Nipton, or maybe a small village? I believe it's down here somewhere. The quest is called In the Deep. That's the name of the mod. Must be this town right here, if you can call this a town. Little mining town. There's two or three shacks here. Uh, hello, I came, you know, I, I came from the wrong way. It's kind of... Weird that this would be your entrance, but you can just jump right down. I guess maybe normal people don't just jump on top of the roof from the cliffside. Nothing is going to convince me to go into that damn vault. You'll have to be more specific. There are a lot of damn vaults around here, but because, because you have said that, I am led to believe there might be a new vault for me to investigate. Hello, do you know anything about this new vault? Also, who beat you, who beat you up recently? You looking for work? Look elsewhere. With the trouble we've had, I think they'll just shut down the mine. Ah, you have a mine. A mine and a vault? Or maybe they're linked together. Aha, a construction worker hat. And some dynamite. The Miner's Lodge. Hey. You know, here for work. Huh. Don't bother. We don't got any vacancies. Okay, that never stopped me before I'll make my own fun. You looking for work? Look elsewhere. Mm. With the trouble we've had, I think they'll just shut the mine down. You keep mentioning a mine, but I don't see a mine. 
Tempe Shack. Hello, are you Tempe? I'll let you sit down first, and then I'll inquire. Why, hello. Nice to see a new person around these parts. I'm Tempe. I'm in charge of this mining operation. Not that, uh, we've been mining a whole lot lately. You say time moves quickly. You never realized you've been retired for 12 years. Well, congratulations, Norwegian Dwarf. Sounds like nice. Sounds like you've been able to enjoy your retirement. He's got some handlebar mustaches, all right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, look, it looks like they're hiding jowls, if I'm being completely honest. So, it sounds like you've been struggling to keep the mining operation going. What's up with that? Well, it's the mine, you see. A few days ago, we used our dynamite to open up a new passage. We found something. A vault? Turns out we'd blown our way straight into one of them vaults from before the war. All right. I went down there with four other miners. Elisa, Clarence, Mathilda, and Gabriel. Everything seemed so empty. We thought everyone was gone. Uh-huh. Are they all right? All of a sudden, we were attacked. It came out of nowhere. I immediately ran out, but when I turned around, I was the only one who made it out. Oh, damn. The door was sealed, and I found no way in. You need to use a terminal down there, but no one here has any such knowledge. I see. So I ran out and locked the door leading down there. I don't want them to burst out and destroy what little town we have. I, okay. You seem like you've survived the desert for some time. Yeah, several years. Please, would you go down there and find my men? If it's possible, if they're still alive, I'll do my best. Enough of this, now you die. Why would I do, why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? I'll find your miners. This is a sociopath. You're role-playing as a sociopath, I guess. I'll find your miners. Oh, thank you so much. Here, take this key. It unlocks the door that leads deeper into the mine. And if the worst has happened, just let me know so I can inform their families. Okay. You know, you have pockets. You don't have to duct tape a packet of cigarettes to your construction hat. But I, I guess it makes for easy access. Someone's bothering you, you can just reach the top of your hat and pull out a cigarette and smoke it in front of them, I, I guess. Shoot. So, uh, again, the sociopath option. What, what is this place? I, I, this, thing, this place was a, sprung up recently because I've never seen it before in all my wanderings. This here is Shambles. <laughs> a small independent mining community, but with our recent problems, I'm not sure if we'll last. His handlebars inspire fear in a three meter proximity. Sometimes people attack him just on instinct. His handlebars offer the least minimal wind resistance, which is why he was able to make it out of the vault and no one else could. It's because they didn't have his mustache. A real shame. Some of them couldn't grow facial hair or they didn't stand a chance. Also, haven't you noticed that Nipton is on fire? Isn't that fun? Yes, it's a shame. Even though most of the inhabitants were downright criminals, there were a lot of fine folk as well. Mixed in? Them Legion don't bother us, though. Even though we're a small community, we produce enough iron to satisfy both the Legion and the NCR. Oh, you're working both sides, are ya? There is no shame in keeping healthy relations with your customer, whoever that might be. Button hand, that feet and all. Well, I guess you would know. Your town hasn't been attacked. Or maybe it's because they don't even know you exist because you're tucked away out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh-huh. Yep. Who are you again? You already forgot? <laughs> and the name's Tempa. Named after what exa Who are you exactly? Uh, I'm Tempa. All right. Oh, God. They're libertarians. Kill them all. Well, who is it around here? So is that Brahmin? Who are you? Didn't I just tell you that? You may have, but you'll have to refresh my memory. I don't know who you are. You're starting to piss me off. Yeah? Enough that you would attack me? No? Okay. All right. Is that Brahmin outside yours? There's apparently a Brahmin out there. Why, yes. Coco was a small one, but she's the bravest Brahmin you've ever laid your eyes on, that's for sure. But what with the mine not being operational and all, I'm not sure what to do with her. I'd hate to slaughter such a fine animal. All right, I'll do it for you. Or I could buy her from you? Oh, would you now? That right there is a fine animal. I couldn't part with her for less than 500 caps. But she is well worth it, I say. Not sure I need her to accompany me down into the mine, so maybe later. Enough of this, now you die. No, no, not doing that. Thank you, Icons Game Room. Thank you for the gift of the Six Riot. Kind of you. Said your three-stream streak should be here, but it's busted. Ah, it's not reliable. Thank you, though, Six Riot. Goodbye, Tempe. I'm missing you already.
<laughs> oh, what a fun goodbye that is. Well, can I get another one of your? Not knock around my thing. <laughs> That's fun. Sometimes they've got barks for that kind of thing. Just knocking stuff over. Ooh, landmines. If I grab those, you're gonna get mad. Kill him and take his unique construction helmet. Let me put on construction hat. If I'm going down in the mines, I gotta look the part. Also you. I'll find a construction hat for you that wouldn't be stealing. Somewhere else, apparently. Thank you, Twilight Gamer. Why does he have two hard hats? Oh, one's a backup, of course. <clears throat> I mean, he's got three of them, but he's got backups for everyone. That's where they store them. In the mining shack. We are OSHA certified here, damn it. Absolutely, we gotta be safe, right? That's, that's moonshine. Now, why did you put this hat on? Oh, you got a present for Pepper? You gotta protect your noggin. Aw, oh, but then your hair disappeared. Ah, well. And hope you're a robot, so if your head gets crushed in, you'll probably keep on going. All your CPUs and stuff are stored in your breasts, which is why they're so big. You here for work? Don't bother. We don't have any vacancies. Well, I'm already assigned a task. Also, I don't know where the mine is. Uh, oh, it's over here, where the mining sign is. That makes sense. The Shamble Mine. Oh yeah. That's a tiny Brahmin. I didn't actually look at it. He did say it was tiny, didn't he? Uh, it's a very small Brahmin. It's like, what, half the size? Good 0.6%. Coco looks at you curiously. Maybe this animal would be interested in assisting you on your travels. But first I'd have to purchase her, and we'll do that later. Into the mine. You're all ready to get dirty? Uh, Pepper's always ready to get dirty. Hope we've got some Abraxo cleaner back at base, so when you inevitably get soot on you, you can wash it off. All right. Um, so you got your unique handgun, and you've got laser Gatling gun. I've got my AK here, so we should be good. So we're gonna explore the mine. Okay, we got lights everywhere. Hmm. Oh, hello. Another construction hat? Pre-war book. Some long fused dynamite. And a cookbook in case we need to learn in case we need to learn how to do more explosive stuff. We'll follow the left wall to this dead end and then turn back because this is obviously not the way we needed to go. Very well. They must have found some hard limestone and decided that going in that direction was not worth the effort. Okay, but now we're back here. Okay, where are we going? Where are we gonna go? That is not the proper way to store dynamite. OSHA will be all over this place now. Ah, uh, the Organization for Safety Hazards Anonymous is not gonna be down here. Although, that this is a very small mine. I don't know if, I don't know if I can go anywhere in this mine. Oh, here we go. That's, that's the entrance, isn't it? Is it the entrance? Or, okay, that must be the entrance, which means we gotta go down this way. Down a bit deeper. Yeah, here we go. I mean, I, I don't store dynamite. <laughs> Have you seen the way that we store dynamite in Doc Mitchell's house everywhere? Yeah, we're not one to talk. Whoa, heard a rat. Yes. Aha! You ain't gonna win, man. I have animal friend, but I don't trust you. I think I annoyed the roach, but he walked away nonetheless. Oh, more dynamite haphazardly strewn about. Gotta take care of it. Very important. There we go. So apparently here's a sleeping quarters in case somebody gets tired, needs to take a little nap. Some cigarettes for people that need a smoke break. If Doc Mitchell ever turns on his stove, his house will go up like the 4th of July. <laughs> hey, is that a bobblehead I see? Looks like it's a bobblehead, but I can't take it. It's only for decoration. Sad. Well, it looks nice nevertheless. Dead bug. We'll grab some of this. Firebomb. Some more explosives. More construction hats and pickaxes. I'm collecting construction hats today. Um, okay. We'll just follow the right wall. And here we go. They blew a mm. hole. Whoa! Rats! Got them. As light as it gets, is it? Okay, well, we have certainly found an entrance to a vault. Tunneled right on in, eh? 
vault door control panel. I wonder where it's gonna lead us, or maybe the vault door is gonna be blocked, which is no, it's why nobody found this place. More headhunter armor, eh? I hear angry rats out there that are gonna need to die. Oh, okay. Computer terminal I can't interact with. Okay, let's take care of these little rat creatures. I say little, but, oh! Lab rats, yep, the entrance is, oh. Terminal password on the remnants of this person that seems to have gotten caught up in the landslide. Terminal password, we'll find a terminal that we can use it on. Dead robot, protectron. This door maybe? Requires a key, so no. Nothing on the intercom. Hello? Nothing. I don't know what I was expecting. The terminal here I can't interact with. Ah, I can use this one though. You said there's so many construction hats, but I haven't put one on hope yet. I guess I can get around to it, yeah. Pablo, personal log for Pablo. This has to be the most boring job in this place. Standing here and checking that the dorm mechanism does not malfunction. <laughs> is that your job? It has worked for 200 years. Why would it fail now? Larry told me that Sheila has been asking about me. I've always thought there was something about the way she looked at me. I'm gonna ask her out when I get off this boring ass shift. Maybe Pablo was the one who got crushed. Cannot activate the reactor, but I can unlock... I can unlock the entrance door, apparently. Uh, Hope, I got a hat for you. Much obliged. Yep, there you go. Now we're all safe. We're all safe folks today, being super safe. Oh, is that Pablo? That's, that's somebody who's dead. Vault 26 jumpsuit. Well, I am collecting jumpsuits, so I guess I'll take that. I'm gonna get one from every single vault. I'm gonna store them like Pokemon cards. What would a Wasteland pizza taste like? Probably pretty bad. You might have the tomatoes and everything, but it's gonna be so hard to get properly made cheese. I guess that's the way I'm going, but I'm curious what's over in this room, if there's anything worthwhile. Uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla, I'll take that. Things are bubbling. Things are beeping. The door to the reactor requires a key. That door is crushed or non-functional. Okay, there's not much we can do over here other than go into the main door right here. And we'll keep on going down this way. The Frontier had pizza as a pickup. Did it? I guess... I don't remember finding any. Maybe we found some and I forgot, or maybe we just never found them. Does New Vegas Mike brush his teeth? I would hope so, but I guess, I guess it's a secret we'll never know. So we got a computer here with some blood stains on it, inoperable. Some uh, eggs, I guess, uh, and a door to the atrium. Okay, Vault 26, what secrets do you hold? What? insane experiments were being performed in this area. Tell me, medical clipboard! Dead robot down there. Clinic. Okay. Best way to solve a vault maze is to always follow the right wall. Or, you know, a wall. Hello! Whoa! Hey! You saw that? There was a person. Or maybe it was my imagination. Maybe it wasn't a person. I thought I saw a person. A couple of dead vault dwellers down here, huh? Okay, well, back to my original plan of following the wall. Dang, I need more lockpicking skill. Uh, okay. Huh. Some organs around here, bloodied handprint, some bullet shell casings. What happened here? What has transpired? The experiment was, what happens if we make giant rats wait outside? and then turn ourselves into ghosts and dead bodies. Hmm. It's a bit early for me to be having hallucinations, right? Or only you'd think I'd have to get a little further in. Is that a landmine I see? That's a landmine. And another one. Must have been a battle going on, huh? So lead pipe, knife. Yeah, some combat was going on down here. Uh, before we go down, can we enter the quarters? We can! What's down here in the quarters? <clears throat> oh, whoa, hey! You certainly saw him coming. I didn't! Seen her in a three-eyed cat staring at a mouse hole. No, I was ambushed! 
Insane Vault Dweller with a Magnum, eh? Okay, continuing on. Seeing what else we can find. <clears throat> oh, hey! Looks like we make a pretty good team. You know, you can say enemy 12 o'clock. You don't have to go, ugh. That doesn't really alert me that I have a threat to take care of, Pepper. Oh, God. A lead pipe. These vault dwellers must have had the test of being exposed to lead exposure. Looks like Truly we make a pretty good team. Do we? I guess that's so. Yeah, they're they're taking the lead pipes out. Come on then, come at me. Okay, we are apparently just shooting things nonstop. A lot of insane vault dwellers coming up behind us, apparently. Luckily I got you guys protecting my flank. Okay, you guys doing a pretty good job protecting my flank. I'm gonna have to come back with better lockpicking skill. Oh. Gross. Dead Vault Dweller. Head exploded. No reason given. No gun on his person. This man didn't kill himself. He was executed. Probably. Possibly. I might be jumping to assumptions and maybe I shouldn't. D no? <clears throat> Come on. No? Okay. I guess we'll continue down a bit further. And maybe the, the quarters might not have anything, but maybe the nickels and dimes do. <laughs> down this way, hello. Is that a statue? No, it's a water fountain. I thought it was like a, a, a Mother Mary statue or something, but that's just, that's just the, uh, yeah, it's a water fountain. The overseer's room? This can't be the overseer's room. It's not isolated enough. Okay, the party room over there. What's in here? Oh, cash register. Okay, yeah, not the not the overseer's room. It's a store of some kind. Hey, and a movie theater. What? Okay. Southern branch of Vault Tech. What is that called? There's a trivia thing going on here. I don't know. What is the Southern branch of Vault Tech called? Vault Texas. Ow. Do you mind? I'm answering a trivia question. You're gonna need a bigger gun. Looks like we make a pretty good team. We're, we're doing all right. We're not amazing. Is it that's just the one vault tech trivia question over and over again? Very well. Why would caps in the cash register, the vault would still use dollars? Aha! Fair assessment, Heronera. Maybe somebody snuck down. Maybe it was just somebody's personal bottle cap collection. Maybe they weren't using it as currency. Maybe they just like bottle caps. Okay, and inside this party room, We've got a poker table, upturned, stools everywhere. Another knife, poker chips, cash register, dead vault dweller behind the thing. That's very hard locked, that's very hard locked. Can I access this? Not really. Not easily. Okay, so not much we can do in here. Although maybe we can find the cashier's key or something. Another dead body down this hallway. Dead vault dweller. Keeping an eye out for enemies. I see, I see you! Hello! Hello? You're not running away? If I try to talk to you, are you gonna start attacking me? Where is everyone? Am I alone here? You do seem to be. As long as you don't attack me, you'll be fine. That's a pretty big if, I feel. Need a key for that too. Well, we found somebody! Somebody is alive. Maybe it's part of that mining crew. Maybe he went insane and put on one of the Vault Dweller's jumpsuits. It's a theory. Okay, he didn't like my theory, apparently. Okay, he's gonna stay here. That's fine. That's fine, don't attack me and we'll be all right. I mean, you're not alone here, but you're, only, you're the only one who I am happy to see and who I'm not gonna shoot because you're not shooting me back. This place is a freaking maze. Even, I, I'm, I'm being redundant by calling a vault a maze, but it seems like more of a maze than usual. All right, I'm gonna take your jumpsuit just so I know I've seen you before. I'm marking that dead body by taking its outfit. There's a robot and another dead vault dweller in there. Bloody handprint, attacked by robots. <laughs> Hello! I don't think so, you didn't get the drop on me. Although you are kind of tanky. Looks like we make a pretty good team. 
That's not how you hold a gun, Hope. Try again. Come on, then. Come at me. I, I didn't mean to shoot you. Take it to the frying pan for these folks. Okay, you must have run out of ammo for your minigun. It's fine. It chews through ammo, I'm sure. Hello? Nothing in this room. Oh, wow! Ah, shotgun in my face. That sucks. Or I guess it missed because I was moving so slow. Lucky me. Another jumpsuit. Terminal I can't use. Shotgun ammo, though. Another dead body. And another dead body. And bottle caps. Mm. So this is where I came from. Is there a way to get in there? I don't see it. Ah. That's locked. That's broken. Going down a bit further. Wow. That, that part is sealed off. The lock on this door is impossible to pick and would only open with an apartment key card. Abaddon Taylor. If we find somebody named Abaddon Taylor or their key card, we'll have to come back here and see if we can find a way to open that door. Nothing in this room either. Dead woman. Hello, you're not a vault dweller, Mathilda. Ah, you must be part of the mining team's crew. She did not survive. The lifeless corpse of Mathilda informed Tempa of her demise. Well, that's one body found, three left to find. And if we're lucky, some of those bodies might have signs of life left in them. Yeah, I wanted that stim pack. Well, we may have reached a dead end on this floor. We might. Oh, hey! Come on, then. Come at me. They may have opened a door to a different Good room. Friend. You barely got a scratch on you. Thank you. That room is still locked for now, though. Give me everything. Thank you. Uh, down here then. Maybe down here. We've been down here. We may have, we may have been down here already. Or maybe we haven't. All these vault. Hallways look the same. How could I tell? Ammo. Hey, you're you're not attacking us. Guess it's time to sort out the saints and the sinners. But you got a friend coming up. Oh, he is attacking us. Well, you have to die. That I'm sorry. Why do you have a sniper rifle? Stay away! You no more. Okay. So, you wouldn't happen to have that key card I'm looking for, would you? Because if you did, that would be great. But I don't think you do. You were just insane. Shame! Can't go down that way. Guess we're gonna have to go back the way we came. Well, they came at us from this direction. Which means maybe they came from a door that was previously locked. I might have trouble progressing if I don't have any lockpicking skill. Ow, whoa, hey! Or maybe they'll open the doors for me! Hold on, gotta reload. And, gotta unload. Looks like we make a pretty good team. Doing alright. Could be better, could be worse. No named key card, though. Careful, don't knock over the shopping cart, you're gonna spook me. What's in this room, though? The m ooh. We might be able to get some information here at the medical room. Nothing, nothing coming up behind us just yet. Um, body parts. Looking for medical logs, maybe. Hey, hey, whoa, hey, how you doing? Ah, a new patient. What seems to be the problem? Let's have a look at you. You can look at me from a distance. Please relax, this won't take long at all. That's my ear, don't look at my ear. Hmm, I see. I'm sorry, but I think there was no other option but to amputate. Well, if you insist, I wanted to do it a different way, but amputating is, I guess, how we're going to have to do it. That arm's got to go. Yeah, you are heavily outgunned. Bloody vault lab uniform. Nice. Unique armor there. Hey, we got a terminal password. Some meds. You guys are covering my back, right, while I'm doing all this looting? You better be. Some drugs. Nothing in there. Ooh, doctor's bag, though. Okay. So this room he came from. Nothing on the shelves here worth anything. That's locked. 
So the terminal. Oh man, he's collecting some gore bags, eh? Mutilated legs. Mutilated organs. I'm glad he kept them separate. Gotta keep the legs and organs separate. Use the password. Vault Tech Terminal. Dr. Svensson. Lift the emergency lockdown in a second. Unlock the safe. Patient logs. We got four patients. Number 36. Concerns regarding their deteriorating mental and physical health. As my preliminary checkups have discovered, unnaturally high growth in muscle mass and endurance. The patient claims they've never undertaken steps towards enhancing, such as through physical... I don't do... Uh, are you killing me? I'm, we, we live in a vault. What do I need to exercise for? I eat 14 bags of fancy lad snack cakes every day. I should be getting much less muscly. I, I should be becoming like a sphere of a person. But as you can see, I'm jacked. Something's not going right. In a trial of Flow Reserve versus Ivis, uh, FFR resulted in fewer anomalies. Hormonal amplifiers. So maybe somebody's putting steroids in the water, in the air. Well, it's just one person, hard to say. More insanity though. Patient 101 has expressed doubts about existing within their own body. Dr. Hubbard from Clinic 13. Psychologist Dr. Brahm. Braxo. All right, that guy was just insane. Hypochondriasis. Feels faint after ingesting meals at 8 a.m. and before 2 p.m. Yeah, so there's something in the food. Steroids in the food or something. The patient has no recollection of ever having visited me before. More mental problems. You ponder whether there are parts of a patient's brain one could remove to get rid of the bothersome condition? Okay. It sounds like he was already going insane. Number 173 had abdominal pains. Couldn't rest because of the severity. I have, after a successful operation, been able to remove the abdominal part of the torso without complication. The patient has been able to rest again. I see. So you have gone insane. A lot of people going insane around here. Kind of trendy. Oh, excuse me. Zircon, you say you weren't feeling it with Has Been Hotel series, but you got done with episode six. Is there episode six out? I thought there was only the first four episodes available on the on streaming. I did see the first episode in addition in addition to the pilot, and they seemed pretty good though. So if they only got better with the way the the longer the series went on, that sounds like a, a plus in my book. Hey, how you doing? Oh, nice of y'all to join me. I'm glad I put those construction hats on you to let me know that I shouldn't shoot ya. Okay, well, a bit of a dead end here. Gonna have to keep on moving. As suggested by our friend Long Wolf, time for hydration. Ah, thank you, Icons and Long Wolf. I have been drinking a little bit here and there, but I am gonna have to go get a top off in a sec. Good stuff. So I, I've turned off the emergency lockdown, so some things that were previously locked may, lo may no longer be locked. Ah, shopping cart, blocking my path. The living quarters. Well, we were already at the living quarters. Ooh. Bony arm with a pistol, ignoring that. Gonna keep on following the right wall. And hoping for the best. Sexy sleepwear. Hey, I found some... <laughs> what? There's a robot in the overseer's chair. If that's the overseer's chair, I'm not sure. We'll get down there in a second, probably. Just gonna keep on... Following the wall, trying to be methodical and searching all this place. Gotta go talk to that robot, though. So, have I been down here? Hello! I see you have a super sledge. Ow! And you have a baseball bat. We take him down and let God sort him out. You say that, but there's more to. Come at me. Dip him in bullets and roll him in the dirt. Yeah, you, you say we'll let God sort them out, but I'm kind of sorting them out already. The ones that are insane die, and the ones that aren't get to live temporarily until they go insane, and then subsequently get killed by us. Uh, nothing in this room either. This a, is a big vault, but I guess they all are. Cumbersome to navigate. Hey, the reactor room. Okay. What do we do here? What, what, what do we expect to find here? Also, haven't I been here? Have I gone to a certain... Hello? Clarence! Take your hat, Clarence. He's dead! There's claw marks leading up to his corpse, and you feel a chill crawling up your spine. Somebody wanted you to find him! Oh no! Uh, Who's that somebody? 
Come on then, come at me. This guy, the dumb sledgehammer. I'm hit. And the one over there. They set a trap for us. They might be insane, but they're not stupid. Oh, there's a lot of them trying to ambush us right now. Hold on, taking cover. What, wow, flaming body parts just went all over the place. I'll loot the corpses once they're all dead, once we're in safety. Okay, you, you need to die as well. That was a close one. Okay, loot all of the bodies in case one of them had some of the security clearance we might need. Oh, we're not done yet. You're gonna fall down flatter than a cat, something or other you said, Come hey. On, Come yep, on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Gun you down. Like we make a pretty good team. Yeah, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Well, we found a second body from the mining crew. 50% have been found. 50% are dead. Where are the other two, though? You know, when the mission went with the miners dug too deep trope, I sort of was expecting some unspeakable horror. But it's just a bunch of insane murderers <laughs> that's hardly terrifying to the point of cosmic horror. True enough, true enough, but we haven't gotten to the very bottom yet. We haven't resolved the issues here, so there's still time to be surprised. Could be even more unspeakable horrors. Overseer lockdown is in effect. Gotta come back to open that door later. Ah, uh, you know, these vaults always way mm. too complex for their own good. Come on, then. Oh, for Come goodness on. sake. Who is it you? Where are you guys coming from? Oh my gosh, is someone else down here? Hey! The gunfire indicates places I haven't been yet. Yes, Vault 26. I got a bunch of vault suits that have that number on them. So this door I want to open, but I can't just yet. Need to override the lockdown. I did see that robot. Hello. Too much to that fight. They were more scared than a puppy pooping peach seeds, if you ask me. Ah, uh, those are pretty scared puppies, all right. Ah, dang it. Very hard locked. Everything's so locked around here. Obnoxious. This is where this guy's body is. Nope, we got robots down here. Hello. These folks are madder than a wet hand. They say you try them off. You might have been willing to talk to us. You don't know. You and your shoot first, ask questions later approach is going to get us in trouble. Ah, shoot first, ask questions later. Ah! What happened to my frame right there? <laughs> peach seeds, hope you mean pits? Ah, maybe, I don't... Do peaches have pits, I guess. I do need to go back and find that robot, though. There's another... That's a lunchbox. I thought it was a bottle cap mine. I hear whispers. Where is that robot, though? Hey, there's the guy I wanted to talk to, if I can talk to him. How you doing? Welcome, valued vault resident. How may I be of assistance today? What if he shot me because I wasn't wearing the vault tech suits? What happened here, Infotron? Inform me. Your complaint has been logged. The, the latest cleaning log was completed 6,412 days oh, ago. He's, he's broken. Ah. I have notified our vault tech. Custodian, staff, and they are now on their way. Thank you for your complaint. Valued Vault Tech, resident. I have been unable to contact maintenance staff for 6,412 days. Emergency protocols have been engaged. Okay, but what are those protocols? What do they do? Maintenance tasks have been delegated to every resident. You, you have been given the task of replacement of broken light bulb. Uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. Locate a vault tech light bulb and replace the broken light bulb at the end and end of the rightmost aisle in the library. Uh huh. Upon completion, you will receive the customary monetary compensation for your service. <laughs> uh. Thank you and have a wonderful vault tech day. So when you say monetary compensation, you don't mean caps, right? Because caps aren't the currency you would use, right? Right? What would you give me instead? Light bulbs somewhere around here, eh? Is, uh... We gotta interact with... <laughs> it's, a, it's a proper quest, is it? Okay, looks like we're doing a, a light bulb replacement quest. Gotta get this place up and running. We're the janitor today. Janitorial simulator. You got any useful books here, maybe? Like stat books? No? 
All right, let's find a replacement light bulb. This is the upper level. Storage? Classroom. Looking for a light bulb in this classroom. Maybe I take the light bulb out of the projector. Ow, 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 it's so bright. Nothing there. Nope. Goat. Yes. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, we got people shooting at us from above. I see. Looks like we make a pretty good team. Goodness me. All right. Do you mind? I'm doing some ow, ow, <laughs> maintenance, son of a bitch. Discharging of weapons in the common area is highly discouraged. Ha! <laughs> That's fun. But uh, where is that light bulb, actually? You know what? Quest marker will tell me. Just follow quest marker. Thank you, quest marker. Oh, hey, we, we got a dead, wow, dead Securitron. That's surprising. Maybe the light bulb, I didn't actually have to get a replacement. Maybe I just got to tighten the other one. Maybe it was just a little loose. Maybe it was just a little loose. Nothing in this room. And nothing. Hey, insane person. What? You're not one of them. What are you? How did you get down here? Did Tempa send you? Never mind. Get me out of here. I wasn't aware. I think there's a key in the warden's office. Hurry. Before he comes back. A key in the warden's office? So you must be Gabriel, one of the few miners that apparently are still alive. So we found one out of the... Well, we found three. And only one of them is alive so far. There could be one more living person down here that we can rescue. Why is Hope wearing Zack's hat? Ah, oh, we're all wearing Zack's hat. We're on a construction site. Yeah, that's me. Does that mean you're gonna get me out of here? Oh, please, I can't stand another minute in this hole. -hole. Let me out, I'll answer any question you might have. Okay, I'll be back after I find you the key. Oh, God bless you, stranger. Search the warden's office, please hurry. The warden's office. Yes. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. Hope. All right. You stay here, guard him. Yep, that's, you make yourself comfortable if you, if you please. Pepper and I are going to see if we can't go to the warden's office. Yeah, you keep him alive. You keep him alive. Gotta go find the warden's office though. And also a light bulb, but I don't know where that is. Excuse me, where do I go for that light bulb? Welcome, valued Yeah, yeah, where's the light? Uh, I fixed the lamp for you as far as you know. I, I do not sense any difference in power usage. Dang it. Make sure that the new light bulb is screwed, screwed in properly. <laughs> All right, fine. Call me out on it. Have a very vault tech day. That's not even an adjective. How many mics does it take to change a light bulb? More than one, apparently, because one doesn't seem to be cutting it. All right, local map says God is right there. That's not true. There is no God here. God has left us. Hope is there. Reactor is there. Living quarters, reactor. Okay, just gotta head south. Just please go check the bulb. Maybe you don't need an actual bulb to do the quest. I probably do, but, whoop. Said, he said the library, right? I tried to inspect some of these lights, but I couldn't really interact with this one. Yeah. I don't seem to be able to interact. Yeah. Maybe it's this one. Oh, wait. This seems to be the broken lamp the Infotron was referring to. If you have a light bulb and a repair skill of five, you can replace it. Oh, what if I don't have a repair skill of five? Well, repair skill, everyone, everyone's got it. I think seven is the minimum. So everybody has a repair skill of five. So unless I've like taken a couple blows to the head, I should be able to repair it once I find that replacement light bulb. Hey! I just can't stop finding you folks. We make a pretty good team. No, we don't. Shut up, you. Another dead body here on the desk. That is naked. Man, who keeps stealing these folks' clothing? That's crazy. How many ducks does it take to replace a light bulb? Well, they don't have a repair <laughs> skill of five, so not enough. Very, yep. I feel like I'm going around in circles, sadly. How about this door over here? Can I go this way? Haven't been here yet. Ah! 
even though the waypoint is telling me to go down, I found pilot lights. Probably aren't the, probably aren't not what I need now. Thank you for the sub, Frog's Pond. You wouldn't happen to have brought a light bulb with you when you came in, did you? Well, it's okay. I'll keep on looking. This seems to be a utility room. Oh, 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 they're broken. Dang. This would have been a good spot to find one, I would have thought. But I don't see any fixed light bulbs, only the busted ones. I'd like to think the waypoint is leading me to where I need to go. <sighs> okay, so not that room. Not that room. Maybe down towards the reactor? It's not it's, it's not gonna be in the reactor room, almost certainly, right? Not that way, as far as oh, maybe I do have to go that way. But then I would have to have authorization to open this. Do I have authorization? No, I need to get the overseer to turn that off. Are we talking gun suggestions? You could. I don't know if I'd be able to find any down here, though. I don't know if there's anything added to the leveled lists down here. Have an aha moment to take the bulb that appears over my head. Ah! No, didn't work. I'm just not bright enough, I guess. I am, however, fixing to use console commands because I just do not like these convoluted vault layouts. The waypoints are supposed to help me, but they don't. Take the light bulb from one of the other lights. You see, I would do that, but then he'd tell me to repair that light bulb too. Man, I, all right. Stupid vault layouts suck. They all suck, they're all awful. Is it this way then? Okay, so apparently I do need to go this way, which means was I supposed to use that locker? Was I supposed to use that locker that the Securitron is standing in front of? If so, why didn't the waypoint tell me to go that way? Whatever. Screw it. Console command time. Could be worse? Well, it doesn't need to be worse. It needs to be better. Unfortunately, I may have broken everything by sequence breaking things, but... You know, when your vault... When, when you decide to make a... A mod that takes place in a vault, you take the risk of me abusing console commands because the vault layouts are always awful. Hey, that's a pretty cool radiation suit. Vault Tech radiation suit, neat. Very nice. Is radiation down here though, is a problem. See, the vault layouts for all the vanilla vaults are uh, convoluted and obnoxious, but at least they're not that big. Well, I, I take it back, but it's been so long since I've been through them. I'm probably just forgetting how obnoxious they are. They're probably just as bad. Ew, radiation. It's so damn hard to navigate vaults, because every corridor looks the goddamn same. Hi, how are you doing? Where were you on that, Pepper? Oh, you're probably stuck by, you couldn't follow me because you didn't have, you weren't abusing console commands, that's on me. Can't, I can't get mad at you for that. Okay, there's still a lot of toxic waste down here though. Hey, light bulb. There we go. Found the light, hey. Find you, Pepper. So, we got the light bulb, we can head back now. I'm sure a whole bunch of enemies have spawned behind me. I can hear their footsteps, why not? Drop by the cinema to, to enjoy the amazing adventures of Vault Boy. Now in Technicolor. Aha, uh -huh. you say that meanwhile you're wasted two hours in a single Skyrim dungeon because a lot of them are enormous, yet sometimes they're unnecessarily cumbersome to navigate. I don't appreciate when a game does not respect my time. My time is limited and precious to me these days. Replace the light bulb. Hey, it's very bright. Looking nice. Is that enough? Welcome, valued. Yeah, yeah, I fixed the lamp. Well done, resident. You can rest easy, knowing that you have done your part for the betterment of our vault. Uh -huh. You have proven yourself to be an upstanding and re reliable resident. I have administered a maintenance key card for you. For Finally! Future similar tasks. Good stuff, thank you. You will also re you will also receive this monetary sum as compensation for a job well done. The entire Vault Tech Company appreciate your assistance. And you're not gonna go hostile on me, right? Good, good. Hello, brand new Shane. I am having a good evening indeed. Thank you. Have a very Vault Tech day. Again, not an adjective. So now we got a key card that might be used to open up that. Yeah, might be used to open up 
that one locked door. Not that other locked door, but that other, other locked door. Still looking for Tempe. No, Tempe's the one who sent us down. Still looking for Elisa. We gotta find a way to get Gabriel out of his cell. Also, I can fi if I can figure out what that overseer's terminal was, so I can open it up properly like I'm supposed to, just in case I was breaking things with console commands there, that'd be pretty cool. Stupid, unnecessarily convoluted vault that I hate so much. Hope he's still down here. Good. Keep an eye on him. Hard to believe he's still alive, but hard to believe anyone down here is still alive. Somebody has stacked these consoles, rendering passage difficult. Somebody really strong might be able to move the consoles aside, or somebody nimble might be able to squeeze through them. I am neither, sadly. Strong or nimble? Let's see, what are my stats at? I got a strength of four and an agility of four, okay. Let's try something here. Charisma and strength from beer. And buff out. And moonshine. That's gotta be enough strength, right? I got a strength of nine now. Hell yeah. Hurry I moved them aside as if they were nothing. Yeah, I'm super strong. Oh, yeah. Elisa. Are you? Hey, you're not Elisa, hopefully. Come out. Because I'm shooting. Looks like we make a pretty good team. You keep saying that, Pepper, but it's not true. I did everything there. What's in here? Uh, hello. How you doing? I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I... Wait, I know you. Wait, do you? What do you mean? You've been snooping around here, getting friendly with the prisoners. Planning an escape, are we? No, 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 that don't work. Uh, you should come no with me. No one escapes from prison under my watch. But don't you see your vault is a prison from which you cannot escape, except when I kill you, then you can escape. Congratulations, you've been freed. I'll take the cell key. And now we'll be able to release him. And hopefully he won't die. But he might he might die. He might get caught in the crossfire because there's a lot of gunfire. I've seen a lot of gunfire today. A lot of gunfire. Overseer's office. Wait, is this where the overseer's office was? Is this where I was supposed to use this computer? Apparently so. Ah, but it's locked. I don't have enough science skill. I'm taking a break. My head is hurting and pounding. I can hear the walls talking to me. I don't like this place. I don't like it at all, at all, at all. Something in my eyeballs feel numb. Your eyeballs feel numb, eh? Maybe you've got, you should go see the doctor, the infirmary. Might be appropriate. I need to go to my favorite cafe to clear my head and take a load off. They always know how to make sweet rolls. Over, over Kelly's near my quarters. The ones they make here taste like dirt. So maybe if I found his corpse, Oh, wait, there's the Overseer's log. Officer Rober here. Situation updated. Crime rate is unprecedented. We lost contact with sectors 12 through 13. So many sectors. Yeesh. Uh, Taylor about the test. All right. Well, I don't see a way to open that door from here. But maybe I'm supposed to find the dead Overseer somewhere near Kelly's. Somewhere near Kelly's, possibly. Does this mod require you to have a specific set of stats to be able to complete it? I hope not, because that would be a bad way to do things. Although it would explain why I've been having trouble, because I don't have enough lockpicking skill to open up all these doors. That would explain why I couldn't access certain places. Yes, it would be bad design if that were the case, but I can't say for certain that is the case. Just to be sure, though, I am going to get myself lockpicking skill. Not everything is balanced. Well, it doesn't need to be balanced, but it needs to be completable by everyone who plays it. Even if they don't have the optimal ending, even if they can't get the best ending, they should still be able to complete it. And if you can't complete it because you didn't have enough stats, that's not great design. But again, I can't say for certain whether or not that's the case. I might just not have done what I needed to do. But it's, it's not entirely on me because this place is so convoluted, I can't say for certain. Well, we do have some armor. We can head back and give it to him. And also free him. I don't know, it's so damn big around here. That door is hard locked. Not anymore, I'm going through. Can't stop me. Hello. Alpha clearance key card. This, I feel like, yeah, having a high lock pick will help you get through this nice and easy. Uh, can't use it on this computer though, it looks like. 
But that key card will definitely come in handy. May you know, it's my fault because I didn't bring um, that cow, Coco or whatever her name was. Overseer lockdown is still in effect. I gotta go to Kelly and get the password off his body or something stupid like that. I don't know. I am going to hug the wall. My go-to strategy. I'm just gonna hug the wall until I figure out where I need to go. It'll be faster than trying to navigate it with my mind powers. Because my mind cannot wrap its head around such a strange layout. I can use the lockpick on this door. There's nothing here. Got that head. Hello! Could you hand me a stim pack? Sure, here you go, friend. It's not working! Probably because you're already dead and they don't work on corpses. Oh, I didn't know that. Yup, sad but true. Wait, that. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 hey! Come on, hey! Come at me. Found a few more folks that haven't died yet. They just keep on coming. They don't stop spawning. Come on, then. Come at me. Okay, I'm not sure where they came from, but maybe they opened up a door that we can go check out. And this door right here, again, requires something I don't have. Yeah, Overseer Lockdown is somehow still in effect. Haven't found a way to stop that from being the case. That's where they are. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Need to go straight and take a left. Need to go this way, I guess. Nope, this is the library. Hey, I'm back, Hope. Follow me. All right. And where is our friend? Over here? There, there he is. I think there's a key in the warden's office. Oh, please hurry. Over here. He comes back. Yes. I have no idea who you are, but thank you so much. Let's get the hell out of here. I would, no problem. Let's get you back to safety. I think I'll just tell Tempa you were already dead. Why can I role play as such a psychopath? Goodness. Let's get you back to safety. Follow me. Thank you so much. Okay, we've got this guy, and we got Hope, and we got Pepper, and we still need to figure out what happened to Eliza, and we need to figure out how to open up that damn door. This is a barrel. You need a firearm, I think, or you will die. You're gonna oh, die. God, that hurt. Yeah, you're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep him alive, but. Okay, you. Let's get the hell out of here. Can I? Uh, here, use this impact. Thanks. I'll use it right away. Now, let's, let me check out your inventory. Got something good for me? Yes. It will help keep you alive. Take this and 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 this, and a whole bunch of ammo for all of that, and uh, wear this. Desert Ranger combat armor that... I don't know why I have that. Who wears that kind of nonsense? You wear that so I don't mistake you for a vault dweller. <laughs> Casually gave a, a random dude an armory's worth of guns. And clothing! Yeah, I, I'm just overloaded with so much stuff. Got so many souvenirs. I have no idea how to open that other door, though. The one that's opened by an overseer? I can't find an overseer's body anywhere around here. Overseer's office. Yeah, I've been up here. Ain't nothing worthwhile up here. Pre-war book. Nothing there. Uh, Overseer's terminal. Science is required. Okay. Well, why don't we just give ourselves a bunch of science so we can use the terminal? What do we got here? Disengage automatic reactor lockdown. Unnamed vault text entry. I have heard complaints that the water has been tasting funny today, which is odd. I only poisoned the food. I can only agree, but there is no test scheduled for this date, and Professor Taylor has assured me that the, ca the cause is that the filtration systems have been improved and that there is a period of habituation. I would have to increase production of soft drinks. Personal log. It has not been easy filling the shoes of our most beloved overseer in the history of the vault. I can only hope that Mr. Alan Breach <laughs> can see that I am doing my best. The transition has been going smoothly so far, but then again, that's not by my doing. Rather, the legacy of the one and only Breach. It is going to be a tough period living under his shadow. R&D has made progress. Uh, police handling. Free access to firearms seemed like a bad idea in such a confined space, but vault Tech has proven that my worries were misplaced. <laughs> Marvelous. Now we've opened up something else somewhere, so that means we're going to get attacked by four or five dudes. As soon as I try to leave. Yes. I don't know where you guys have spawned, but you've spawned somewhere, I'm sure of it. Robot! Welcome. 
valued vault resident. How may I be of Me. assistance? Uh, nothing. Goodbye. Have a very vault tech day. You're not helpful. Not as helpful as, as I was hoping you were going to be. Where is Eliza? How do I get into the reactor? I guess this is the way I go. I'm following the signs now. Oh, whoa, see, you just appeared in front of me. It kind of surprised me. But I should have access now. I use the overseer's terminal to override because, yeah, I, I couldn't find the password on the overseer's body. So I guess you just have to have a, a science of 50. I can't find where the overseer's body would be and where his password would be, I, I assume. So as far as I can tell, you just need to have a science of 50 or else you can't complete this. Again, I can't say for certain. I'm just kind of struggling with the level design here. That's my, that's my biggest concern. Should have brought more companions and left them. Should have left. I should have brought more companions and left them at waypoints, key points throughout the vault. There we go. Warning: disengage lockdown. Success. A. Hey. Now let's see if there's an Eliza in here. Also, let's put on some radiation protection because there's a lot of it apparently. Vault tech security. So much. <laughs> so much garbage. Uh, radiation suit. Put one of these on. Why not? Repair that with the sexy sleepwear. There we go. All right. Oh no. Hey, Vault Tech resident. Hey, hey, fan. You know, you guys can uh, stay back if you don't want to get hit with radiation. But if you do want to shoot these guys, it'd be cool with me. Yeah, we got some Vault huh. Tech. These poor folk couldn't fight their way out of a wet paper bag. We got some Vault Tech Time residents. For a little revenge. Time for a little revenge, he says. Nice. Doesn't have a companion wheel, but he is behaving like a proper companion, which I do enjoy. He's kind of aggressive, though, ain't he? Buddy, don't get yourself killed, please. That's, that's, I said please, I said please. No, I'll save you. Get down, Mr. Random Person. I'm here to protect, minor. Oh, oh, I'm getting pushed. What's going on? Oh, uh, okay, it was weird. Some kind of phantom pushing. Oh, maybe it was you. Maybe you were doing that, I don't know. Okay, this door is average locked. And we've got more radiation suits. You guys probably want some of these, don't you? Oh, and dead vault veller. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yeah, a lot of cabinets full of stuff. But uh, unless my final miner has been stuffed into a locker, I can't say it matters too much to me. Do you think they might need radiation suits too? Hey, Gabe, how you feeling? Let's get the hell out of here. Well, no, hold on, hold on. I want to ask you some questions. They're not dead, just taking a real kissing bath. Yes, it's very relaxing. They're probably not going to get back up because they're having such a, such a good time. You wouldn't happen to know where the others are, would you? He's not going to know. Mathilda, I saw running up a flight of stairs, but then I lost sight of her. I never saw where Clarence went, though. I hope they're, all right. they're both dead. Where's Elisa? Elisa is a different story. Elisa. I saw them taking her towards the laboratory. Uh-oh. I have no idea what they would want with her, but I just, I just hope she's still alive. The laboratory, okay. I'm done asking you questions for now. All right, can we go now? Well, I'm, yeah, I, we're getting out of here, but I'm trying to find Elisa first. I thought she might be down here with the reactor stuff, but I guess possibly not. It's payback time. Maybe I can set this place to self-destruct, but if I can, I'm probably going to want to find Elisa before I do that. And here is the mess hall area. It's a mess. Water treatment area requires a key. Oh, never mind. I can unlock it with the terminal. So down here, probably not the lab. Atrium that way. Hmm. <clears throat> Another come insane on, come at me. vault dweller. Oh, excuse you. Oh, Ow. that hurt. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. Looks like we make a pretty good team. Fun reaction. Still looking for Elisa, though. This room, can I do anything? Not really. No, nothing in this room. Oh, hello, insane vault tech scientist. The pressure is off by 0.7%. Okay, she's just insane. But she's not who we're- Well, you've made it this far. What? I have taken note of your progress throughout my vault, and I must say that I am impressed. Oh yeah? 
My name is Mike. What's it to you? You you wouldn't happen to know where Eliza is, would you? Oh, is that the name of your friend here? The one thing I need and you want to take it from me? No, I can't allow that, I'm afraid. No, she is safe here with me. Out there, outside these walls, there is nothing. Only dread and silence. Well, you should let her choose that. Professor Taylor knew. He was brilliant, but alone. Left without his kin. That, my newfound friend, could turn anyone mad. And even though he knew the risks, he was willing to conduct the test without the necessary precautions. It became our downfall, but it was worth it. I'd still like to have her back. Knowledge is not free. Like the well of Mamir, you must sacrifice something to get it. I have done my sacrifices. Sorry, I don't get that reference. I don't know what you're Have you? I don't read poetry. So you're not gonna let me in. We have found the lab. Um, there's a hatchet inside the keypad. I hear nothing, so can't negotiate. Nothing, okay. Gonna have to try and find a back way in there, I guess. There we will. Oh, just gonna have to keep on killing everybody until we figure out how to get in there. Ow, you son of a bitch! Come on, then. Come at me. You broke my radiation suit. Guess I'll have to put my armor back on. Okay. You say Mimir is a figure in Norse mythology. Uh, I would explain it. I don't know much about Norse mythology. 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 Whatever. This door leads to a Securitron. It's very hard locked here. Okay, well, laboratory's password. So, water potency report. Water unsafe for consumption. Unknown additives found in the water. Serum B, serum 50 Bravo and three Umbrella Tarly Tierra. Tango. Umbrella Tango. Okay. Report not forwarded to all computers. Well, I would hope not. Activate security. Cannot. Patrol route blocked. Patrol route is blocked, so I can't activate security. Okay. Pump control terminal. Activate emergency pumps. How about now? Success! Active Securitron. Hey, he's got that vault tech face. vault tech Securitron active. Must have been bought from Mr. House, of course. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Path is still obstructed a little bit, it would seem. Hope, over here. There we go. So, are you gonna go repair that? vault tech Securitron active. Okay, you're active, but what does that mean for me and my friends here? Oh, he might just be following me. All right, let's lead him back. And maybe he'll be able to repair that broken panel. It might be a bit of a long shot, but it makes sense, right? Do I gotta examine this? A quick examination reveals that the external locking mechanism has been broken using brute force. You could try to replace it with, with broken par uh, replace the broken parts. Might be, might be storage nearby. I can try to pull the axe out, but I probably don't have enough strength. Ow! So I need a repair of 90. It <laughs> wasn't so smart. <laughs> yes, the name of the mod is Into the Deep. Yes. We'll have a few... We'll, I'm, I'm sure, depending on how long this mod is, you know. We might, have, we might have time for a few other things besides this one quest. So can you... Can you uh, fix this? I don't have a repair of 90. Can you... Hey, where you go? Apparently you guys want to go down this way. Very well. Come on, then. Come at me. Yeah, we gotta go. Hey, we got a lake lurk. A couple of them, eh? A couple of them. Okay, so we haven't checked out this area yet. It's payback time. A pair... Oh, they're not the one who kidnapped you. Also, although theoretically... If there are lake lurks in here, there's almost certainly an, a way to access on, the Come surface. Time for a little revenge. Because how else would they have gotten down here, and how else would they be able to survive? 
I'm out of ammo for this thing. Okay, I got this though. The noob tube. And I can always turn it into a grenade launcher. Aw, yeah. But I probably don't want to in close range. So we got the components in here, but I still don't have the repair skill. Eh, I might just give myself the repair skill. Yeah, we've already done this. We've already checked this out. I guess I'll give myself a repair skill of 90. I don't know. Repair using the repair skill. And also the broken parts I found. Okay. And down we descend. Oh, a bunch of shotguns tied to a tripwire. How did I not see that? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Elisa. Crazy person. Okay, it sounds like there's some chaos going down over here. You! Ooh, what if, what if this crazy person, oh, what if uh, Insano over there was putting our friend into a vault tech suit so I shoot her on Sound sight? Sound detected. Searching for cause. Sound detected. Uh oh. Vault tech, vault tech. Vault tech, yes, correct. Okay, gonna be very careful. This is this has turned into a hostage rescue. You think the dude is a computer and he has turned the female into a computer as well. Possible. Would be a bit silly, but wouldn't be beyond a stretch of imagination. Although I don't think that's the case, because it just seems like there were drugs in the water that made everyone go insane. So he's probably just an insane person that captured Elisa. That's probably all there is to it. Just gotta go down there and rescue her. All right, clear this floor out first. Hello. The recent disturbance at Gamora has been resolved. <laughs> Thank you, Vault Tech Securitron Mark III. Okay. Well, your uh, theory could be correct if that person is Eliza. I don't know at the moment though, because it's not talking to me proper, but it ain't hostile, so we're gonna continue around. Oh, oh hey, hey. hey. Ah, I heard that! I heard that! Nice shotgun! Hey, yo, whoa, hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Calm down. What were you shooting at me with? A laser RCW? Is that what I saw? You had that. Okay. Aha! Criminal detected. Firing vault tech lasers. No, you don't have to do that. It's fine. Vault tech must die. Whoa! Okay. We gotcha. Death sound. Uh, perfecting our future with Vault Tech. Yeah, nice slideshow you got going on. What's in here, though? I hear things thumping around. You guys Come don't on, have then. to. Come okay. At me. You guys are going forward, apparently. You guys. You guys know what you want. I can respect that. Hey, how you doing? Vegas doesn't need your trouble, says that Vault Tech Securitron. Very well, fine. Another Vault Tech Securitron. Aha! This awesome. is a Vault Tech issued warning. Seize Sorry. all criminal behavior or face punishment. Vault Tech! Vault Tech! Vault Tech! Vault Tech. Vault Tech. <laughs> Malfunctioning Securitron indeed. Interesting. Curious. Oh, hello, computer. Hello! Hi. Nothing to say. Terminal right here. Vault Tech Mainframe Terminal! Unlock lower level door and Securitron research. Sifting through the research has given you a greater understanding of weak points and Securitrons, giving you the perk Asimov's Avenger. So I should be able to kill you pretty quickly, huh? Not as quickly as I would have liked, if I'm being honest. Oh, hey, of course, more of you guys showed up. Sorry, I didn't mean to pick you up. Sorry, 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 sorry. I tried to... I was trying to melee you. <laughs> Who's shooting at you? Who doing that? Who, who, who's... Okay, we done? Is everyone still alive? You're al No? Oh no, where is our fragile friend? I'm concerned suddenly. Insane vault dweller. Concerning. Very concerning that I can't find him anymore. Theoretically, it could have wandered off into a different room and is fighting Securitrons and stuff in there. But I am worried. So, you came. 
I should have guessed that you wouldn't follow my advice, as sound as it may be. Say, he's not a robot, he's just insane. I am curious, however. So tell me, what happens now? That all depends on what you do. What do you even need Elisa for? Yeah, just hand over Elisa and you get to survive, if you call that living. How crude. But an effective and understandable threat were not the situation such as it is. I cannot allow myself to be stopped now. I am too close. Too close to what, though? I will, however, ask you one last time. Leave and do not interfere. This is all I ask. Just walk away. I can't do that! If you choose to enter my laboratory and prove that words cannot make you see reason, I will have to resort to brute force, though it shames me. Yeah, you say that. You got some robots over there. One of them is smaller than the other. Oh no, one of them is just standing on the railing, I think. Or farther by, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna come in there. I'm not leaving without Elisa. I'm sorry, this has to be done. And if you harm one hair on her head, then I'm gonna make you regret it. Only one of us is getting out of here alive. I'm sorry, Hope and Pepper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the other guy who is with us has died. I uh, don't see him anymore. Curious what this guy's experiments are all about. Oh, damn! He wasn't messing around. Okay, I gotta stop over to my grenade launcher if we're gonna play for keepsies. On the plus side is, yay, Gabriel's alive now. That's good. Okay, so first, ow. <laughs> I'm all the way back here. Very well, very well. It's shoot first and ask questions later time. Come here, come, no, Gabriel! Oh, you son of a dummy! It's like you want to die. Oh god, that thing is tanky. Ow, 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 oh my god. So yeah, Gabriel, yeah, Gabriel can't survive that. <laughs> Try again. Let's get the hell out of here. Shut up and stim pack. Oh, thank you. Also, let me look at your inventory. So what do you have for me? Take, uh, if I can give you the rebreather to keep you alive. Nah, I don't think so. Take this helmet. One of these helmets has to be good, right? All right. It's better than nothing. Yeah, let's. Okay. Do I have any armor piercing? Do I? I do, yeah, good idea. Critical fit. Good for piercing the robotic carapaces. What? Gabriel! Fuck you, Gabriel! Stop being Gabriel's scribbled note. I did it. It's all me. It's my fault. What are you looking at? If anyone is reading this, it means I died. They took Eliza, my friend. I can only hope that whoever is reading this can at least get her out of here and save her. I saw them taking her towards the lab. Okay, so if I, yeah. We'll try this one more time, Gabe, but you are just begging to get killed. Okay, so lower level door this way. Good, good. Gotta reload. Open the door, and there's this guy again. So... Hey, how's it going? Uh, what do you even need Elias for? How about you answer me that question? Ah, how refreshing it is to be conversing with someone interested in the whys and the wherefores. My colleagues lost that trait many years ago. Whys and wherefores are the same thing. As for the answer to your posed question, I want to save this vault. I believe Elisa to be the key to my progress. Seems pretty unsalvageable. I suppose Elisa is not special, at least as far as her genetic makeup go. But she is untouched by the accident that befell this place. A lot of us were. I need someone from the outside to find a long since needed cure. I need her. It is not my intention to bring her harm. I mean, who are you gonna cure? But I... if her life needs to be sacrificed for the betterment of the lives of the many people here... There's no more people here! So be it. I've killed everyone! The need of the one does not outweigh the need of the many. There's no more many! This is not very nice of you in my opinion! <laughs> You are insane. I don't think Eliza is what you need. She can't be a perfectly healthy person. That's not very nice of you, in my opinion. Your opinion does not concern me. I do this because it is the right thing to do. 
Sometimes we have to make difficult decisions to do what is right. How are Jojo and Petey? They're sleeping. They're being all cute on a chair over there, snuggled up together for warmth. Not that it's super cold in here or anything, but you know, they're cats. I am doing well. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. Yes. I don't think Eliza is what you need. She can't be perfectly healthy. I think I saw a blister on her lip, and I, I was told by Gabriel here that she's got crabs. What you think is irrelevant. The specimen does not need to be perfectly healthy as long as their genetic makeup is untouched. Oh. No, I need her to save the many lives here. It brings me no joy, but she has a much too important role to fill for me to allow her departure. I do not agree. She is an innocent. She didn't destroy the vault. You should let her go. I guess I understand. I will allow you to continue. <laughs> yeah, you are insane and these people are beyond saving. I've killed so many of them. You should let Elisa go. Elisa. And how would you know? Do you have any idea how this sickness functions? I know how bullets functions. I thought not. If you can add a nucleotide, you can also remove it. Can't remove a bullet. I guess I don't could. expect you to understand. After all, I've been working on a cure for as long as I can remember now. No, I don't expect you to understand, but I expect you to allow me to do what is right. These people need me. They need a coroner. They need help. Your sky barrier is what they need. Do not enter my laboratory <laughs> unless you want to experience repercussions. I already experienced them. They weren't nice, but I'm coming for you. Oh, I'm coming for you. F5, someone's going to die, and this time it ain't going to be me. I got armor-piercing rounds with your name on them. If I can find you and not die on my way to you. There you are. Ow. Freaking grenades. Oh, you want to play with grenades, do you? Two can play at that game. Haven't we killed like 90% of these people by now? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna kill the last 10% too. The mad scientist has called for reinforcements to stop them. You need to use the mainframe in front of the bridge to keep the doors sealed. Oh, okay. I won't let you stop me. Where's the mainframe? Where, where is it? Hold on. Boom. Here's the mainframe. Accessing with my skills. Lasted. As long as they did, surprising. Uh, override, emergency lockdown, lift attempt. And access security system, submenu. I need to clear this place first. Ow, 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 ow. Killing you is for the greater good. Oh, I missed. Are you gonna blow yourself up shooting missiles at your feet? That's fun. I, I do need to be careful though. They, they are pumping a lot of bullets into me. Ow! Taking cover. With his last remaining energy, the professor activates the entire dormant robotic army. This lifts the total lockdown in effect, but getting out might prove to be difficult. Uh, okay. I hear things charging up. I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't like that at all. Huh. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Activating this. Activate security. So, so uh, I gotta clear this place first. I can clear this, clear the robot out first. He's dead. Can I access? Can I access it now? Beta level clearance required. Okay, apparently I can't access the sub menu. Whatever. Moving on. Activating gun mode, armor piercing mode, pod controlled terminal, open protector on pod. Oh, she was in a protector on pod. Hey, how you doing? Uh, oh, I can't believe I'm free. <laughs> I guess I owe you one. Shut up and come with me if you want to live. I have some questions. Are you sure this can't wait until <laughs> we're out of this place? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. What's your opinion of the NCO? <laughs> what? I'm not in the mood for jokes. <laughs> Let's just get going. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I thought Tempe sent you. <laughs> I'm Elsa, one of the miners from Shamble. Oh, welcome. Welcome. How long have you been locked up in there? I don't know, but it felt like forever. I have no idea what that sick man had planned for me, but it can't have been anything good. Probably not. I just wanted to look you in the eye when you died. No, no, no. Yes, let's. 
Let's get out of here. Yes. All right. So we got the five of us are getting out of here. Hopefully. F5 before we die. Inevitably on our way out. Inaccessible. Inaccessible. Great. That's broken. Fuck. <laughs> Where are we going? I got more questions. No, 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 no. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Through this door. All we gotta do is find the stairs on the way out. The staircase. It's inaccessible. We're going this way, I think. Just keep on ascending until we're exiting. Oh, also, can we find his body? Loot that, maybe? Didn't he die over- There he is! Professor Collins! What a nerd! Vault head science uniform. Science plus 15. Hot diggity daffodil. That requires a key, though. Ah. Okay, if that was a quick exit, I'm not sure how to access it. Maybe this is a quick exit? That also requires a key, damn it. Where do you get his degree? Who knows? From BSU. We gotta go up, so we gotta go down until we find the way to go up. All that matters is we, we've got everyone alive, and we'll be fine. We'll get out of here, and eventually, we'll be done with this place. Again, just gotta figure out... You know what? I'm gonna turn the waypoint on. Escort everyone to safety, and tell, er, tell Tempa that the other two are dead. Oh, wait. It says talk to you. Why? Let's get the hell out of here. Damn it, Gabe! You're my waypoint! Knock it off! Yeah, l Son of a gun. Alright. Let me meet with Theron. Yes, how do we go meet with Theron? That's what I want to do. That is my current goal. Yes, correct. It says go up, so I gotta go up. Over here. Locking me up, huh? Think I just live oh. and let live, huh? Yep, there are, there are more survivors who just haven't killed them yet. I see. Surprising. Apparently, I haven't been through here yet. You might need some. You might want some more armor. Just saying. You're wearing a vault jumpsuit. It's not great. Toe, hey, how you doing? Don't mind me. You're just guarding my. Oh, oh, my limbs got blowed off. That's not cool. Great. Escape. Escort everyone to safety. <laughs> Did not make it out that time. Uh, let's go meet with Darren again. Good. Let's try again. Ow, ow, ow. Son of a gun. Careful, don't go in there. He's got missiles. Don't go in there. He's got missiles. You... God, you guys. Kamikaze death wish. Okay, we're almost out of here. Whoa! What are you doing in my path? Favorite Capri Sun? I have not had a Capri Sun in many years. But I don't think I've ever had a bad Capri Sun either. No. Oh, no. No. Continuing onward. We're making our way out of here. We're making progress. Head count. One, two, three. What? One, two, three. Oh, you're not one of my heads. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Heads? Heads. How's our heads doing? One, two. Gabe? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you shooting at? Oh, you followed us. Okay. One, two, three. Where's Gabe? Where did Gabe go? All right, everyone, split up and look for his dumb body. We gotta figure out where Gabe died. Is that what the quest marker says? Tell Tempo that Gabe died. Dang it, Gabe, can you stop being dead, please? I hear, I hear things. He must have spawned up here. Oh no. He spawned with all these ghouls! Gabe, no! Gabe! What are you doing, Gabe? I'll do my best to save you, but... You are really, really not gonna survive at this rate. Gabe! Gabe! No! Gabe has got a death wish. I don't have enough bullets to save you, Gabe! Gabe, I have a stim pack for you. Come back. This is ridiculous. This is a Benny Hill skit right here. <laughs> Turning off the armor piercing ammo. Gabe, where'd you go? Damn it! It's focused on me. That means Gabe is probably dead. Gabe! Gabe, you dumb idiot. You brave dumb idiot. Also, I hear missiles being launched. That's not a good sign either. Also, I, I'm getting irradiation poisoning. That's a bad sign as well. 
Nothing about this is good. Everything about this is bad. And to top it all off, I'm kind of lost. I'm walking toward the gunfire right now. Hello? Hello? What the hell is going on? This place sucks. I hate it so much. Gabe? Hey. Okay, we got Hope is alive. That's good. Okay, head count. Hope. Why do I need a head? No, I don't know. Head count. Just. Dang it, Elisa died and Gabe. This is impossible. You idiots can't stop dying. It's Groovatron time. All right. So, Gabe. Congratulations. You're going to the Shadow Realm. And Elisa. You are also going to the Shadow Realm. I'll see you when we get to the surface. Come on, Hope. Come on, Pepper. You want to live forever? Because you will. You got plot armor. That requires a key. I'm not sure they're going to survive on the surface. I didn't say that. I didn't say they're going to they're gonna be free on the surface. That's what I said. I'll release them, and then if they die, it's not my fault. Hey, pigtails. Goodbye, pigtails. What's up? No pigtails. Oh, boy. Armor piercing ammo, please. Hey! Uh, yeah, all right. Continuing. Golf cart. Shopping cart. Living quarters. That's not where I want to be. Wrong way. Hold on. Wrong way. This way. I'm pretty sure the exit is in this direction. Come on. Follow me. We're so close. We're so close. That's going to stop us now. Doing it. We're doing it. Where'd all these damn robots come from? Oh, there's too many robots. There's the exit right this way. Uh, uh. Dodge, duck, weave. Extract all. All right, this way, everyone. To shamble mine. Nope, don't go back that way. Don't go back that way. I just kept you all alive. Come this way. Come where? Come here. We're going this way. It's the surf. Where are our friends? Where? Okay. I'm getting them out of here one way or the other. I'm not even sure if they're supposed to be scripted to die or not, but I'm not letting it happen. I've been through too much to let it happen. Okay. Almost to the exit now, and then we'll let them loose. And then if they die like lemmings, it's not my concern. I will have done my job to the best of my ability. You're freed! Yep. Don't. No. No, you're not going in Let's there. get the hell out of here. We're out of here. Give me your stuff. And you can go. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. What are you... What are you fucking doing? Escort them to safety. Maybe they had a bark they needed to say in there. I don't know. Are they ghosts? They disappeared on me. Were they ever really here? Was I losing my mind? Maybe they had dialogue down here. Oh! More enemies! My life! Honestly, at this point, I kind of, I'm like 50-50 on just killing them and letting them know that they couldn't rescue them. Okay. We'll try one more time here. Extracted. And... Well, now I'm just pissed off because one of them is going in the other direction. Where are you going? What's the hold up? Follow me. Yes. Let's go. You're going the wrong way. Thanks the dollars. Okay. So... All right, so I have a, uh, a plan. Don't worry. We're, we're going to keep them alive. We're going to keep these dumb lemmings alive. Don't worry. Okay. And now the mine is locked and no one can ever go in there. Vault... <laughs> Look. So apparently it was going to be named Vault 76, but that probably was uh, before Fallout 76 was announced, I'm guessing. <laughs> How is my quest looking? Everyone needs to be escorted to safety. F5. And now we can release them. Congratulations, you morons against all odds have survived. Oh, it was such pain to keep you idiots alive, but congratulations on alive you are. Give me my stuff back. Let's get the hell out of here. Out of here we already are. Give me your stuff. Yes. They might- Sorry, Mike. I've held out as long <laughs> as I could. I'm absolutely exhausted. I hope everyone has a great night and weekend. Me too. Good night all. I also hope they have a great night and weekend, and I am also exhausted because I spent the last hour trying to navigate my way out of that damn vault. How, how was it harder to find my way out than it was to find my way in? That's crazy. So if I unlock that, are you guys going to walk in there and go kamikaze yourself? Is that... You're good now? They're alive? You're good now? 
Let's get the hell out of here. Their, their dialogue is broken, but they seem to be alive. Okay. If, if, uh, if I'm turning the quest in and you guys are still being a problem, it's public execution time. Back again? I am. Clarence is dead. He was a good man. Damn the day we found that blasted place. May he rest in peace. Alpha Mathilda is gone. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll make sure that our family is informed. And the options are not here. I have to go. Take care now. That's one. Okay, and that's two. Oh, we're we killing everybody in this place now? All right, Shambles gonna be left in shambles. Oh, we gotta kill Coco now, that's sad. Hello, I'll, I'll make it quick for you. All right, cool. Hey, Tempa, guess what? You, you wanna be sitting down for this. Back again? Eliza is no longer with us. I know, it's sad. Oh, I was so sure she was alive. I had a feeling and, well, it can't be helped. I'm sure you did the best you could. Thank you. I did. I tried so very hard. It was impossible, though. Also, Gabe died. Gabriel is dead? Ha. Oh, my poor friend. I was so hoping he'd made it out somehow. He always does. Or did. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome. Well, I found all of your miners. They're dead. Just like the residents of your little shamble town. They're also dead. Congratulations. You're the lone survivor. Yes, I guess you have. Shame that no one made it out alive, but thank you for your efforts. You have at least brought me some modicum of peace. You're welcome. And? Y y yeah. <laughs> Times are tough, especially now with most of my men dead, so I have but a small sum to give. I wish you well in future travels. Okay. All right, enough of this. Now you die. What? Why? Are you insane? No, now I'm happy this option exists. Mm. Hold on. Okay, so take your key, take your everything. Congratulations, Mod, you have turned me into a psychopath. I now own Coco, yay! <laughs> and away we go. Yeah, there was no way those guys are gonna get out of there. Like, Elisa and uh, Gabe just could not stop. They could not stop charging headfirst into battle and dying a glorious Valhalla-like death, so. Coco, congratulations. You're following me. Oh, wait, you don't have a companion wheel either. All right, go back to Shamble. Go ahead, and go ahead and eat all the residents of town. They're all yours now. Well, that was Into the Deep. Okay. It was a fun adventure. It was a bit frustrating how the uh, people I was trying to save would not stop dying. But outside of that, it was a fun little thing. Fun little adventure. Yep, it's a damn shame how literally everybody in the town of Shamble had to die, but... Sometimes, that's just how the cookie crumbles. You gotta dance the pain away. Gotta dance the night away. What time is it anyway? Is it like, oh, it's only 9.30. We got plenty of time for another mod. We can at least start one, right? We can start in on a new mod. And hopefully it doesn't take place in the vault because vaults seem to be my worst enemy. I do not much care for them. You know, fun little adventure. Not the worst I've played, of course, but that was rough. Vaults, ugh, right? Vaults, not a fan of vaults.